Hello everybody, it's Hydro. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about Augustine's accusing Marcus Dupree of rape. Let's get right into it. Some people are probably going to say, Tyjo, why are you talking about this situation? This situation happened a long time ago. Well, when it comes to rape, it doesn't matter how long ago it was. It still happened, and that's bad. So I want to talk about this situation because when I first heard about this situation, I thought that it was just bad. I thought that Marcus Dupree raped August Eames. And then I look back on years later, I'm 19 right now. I look back at it like, you know what? I don't think that happened. You're probably like, what? A lot of people were saying Marcus Dupree is a rapist. I was hearing about that. And I think about it like, you know what? I don't think he raped August Eames. When I heard, so here's what happened. August Eames is dead. Rest in peace to her. She was one of my favorite porn stars. Um, she was attractive. So I'm going to say this. And I'm just being honest. I'm not going to be like, oh, August Eames was one of my favorite porn stars. So I'm going to say Marcus Dupree raped her. No, I'm going to say it for what Ashley is. Um, I thought about it. So from what I remember, August Eames, no, you know what? Emma Hiss posted messages between her and August Eames. Um, they were talking about um, August Eames making a porn video with Marcus Dupree. The video didn't get released. Um, so from what I remember, I guess August Eames said that when they were having sex, he was being too rough with her. And if you watch some videos with Marcus Dupree and other women, you will see that it's like he's known to be that type of guy to have rough sex with a lot of women. So... She said that he was being too rough with her and that she felt like she was being raped. And then when the scene was over, she spit on him and left. And she said that porn stars, um, what did she say? They don't get paid if they didn't enjoy, enjoy or something like that. If that is the case, I think that's messed up that porn companies don't pay you just because you didn't enjoy it. Um... It's messed up because at the end of the day, you still did the scene and you deserve to get paid. Um, but yeah, basically she said that she's fine with having rough sex as long as it's with a person that she's comfortable with. But I guess with Marcus Dupree, she wasn't comfortable and said that she felt like he was raping her by having rough sex with her. And I thought about it. See, here's the thing. At first... When I heard that Emma Hicks made a feel with Marcus Dupree, I was thinking to myself, like, that's strange. I thought of it like betrayal. Like, I was like, why are you making a video with her rapist? That doesn't make sense. I, I, just, I didn't understand it. I was just like, I know this happened a long time ago, but that person still raped your friend. You shouldn't be making a video with that person, especially when you called them out like a long time ago. I thought that was strange. Same thing with Bella Danger. You know, the video with Bella Danger and Marcus Dupree, I think came out like what, 2021 or 2020? I don't remember. Basically, it didn't come out too long ago. Um, And yeah, that video came out. It had millions of views. Now, I started thinking Abella Danger talks about how she loves August Eames. Why did Abella Danger make a video with Marcus Supreme? I started thinking she betrayed August Eames. August Eames did not want to press charges against him. It's understandable because some victims of rape, a lot of victims of rape actually, sometimes just don't want to press charges against their rapists. They don't, sometimes they're scared to press charges and they, Sometimes they just don't want to get criticized or anything like that. And if you know this, you know that August Eames, um, August Eames killed herself because she was getting bullied online for saying that, you know, she would be fine. I guess she would be fine with like making porn feels with like women. You no, know, basically she was bisexual. She's fine with making feels 
with women, but she wouldn't like to make a video with a gay guy. Or you could say bisexual guy if he's having sex with her. So basically, she just didn't like that. She, and you know what? At the end of the day, it's her opinion. If that's what she don't want, then that's fine. No, she prefer um, making porn feels with women, having sex with women, but she didn't want to have sex with a gay man or a bisexual man. You know what? I think about it like that's, that's understandable. Even if you, you may not agree with her because you're like, okay, but you're having sex with a gay woman or a bisexual woman. It's understandable. So, um, I forgot what she said. Like, they got to be tested or something. I forgot, but basically people were criticizing her and bullying her for that. I don't think that she deserved to be bullied. If you don't, if you didn't agree with her, I understand you just didn't agree. But you shouldn't have bullied her. Like, I think she was getting death threats for saying that. And basically the gay community went after her. That's sad because from what I remember, I think that Augustine was bipolar. And I think she had depression. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But I do remember her... I guess being diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Honestly, if I had to be honest about that situation, I think that was a miscommunication. When they was gonna make the video, it was consensual. They agreed to have sex with each other. Um, Augustine said that she liked to have rough sex. She just said that Marcus Dupree was that guy that she didn't want to have rough sex with or that she just didn't like having rough sex with. I personally think that if she felt that way, she should have told him, hey, um, I don't like having rough sex. Um, can we just change it or something like that? She could have said something. Instead of doing that, she just spit on him and left. According to what she said, I'm not trying to say that he's not a rapist because I don't know if he is. Maybe he did rape somebody. Maybe it was an Augustine, but maybe he did. I don't know. I'm not going to say he did because I don't know. I haven't heard about him being charged with that. So I'm not going to say that. When I saw that Bella Danger feel, I think around the time when they were releasing got millions of views on Pornhub and it was by the company Brassers, it just made me think about that situation again. So I was like, you know what? Let me talk about this situation. Although I haven't thought about it in a while, I was like, you know what? Let me go and talk about this situation. Um, I actually talked about it. I think back in November or something on my Instagram, I forgot what month. It, it was probably November or December, but basically I talked about it some months ago on my Instagram page. I was like, today I just was like, you know what? Let me go and make a video about it. When I went on Twitter to see if Emma Hiss talked about that situation where she made a video with Marcus Dupree, basically she said that um, something like, um, sometimes you have to let grow let go of some grudges. And she said that they talked with each other about it. So I don't know what was said between them, but I guess maybe she got his perspective and he understood her perspective, I don't know. But I guess they came to an understanding and maybe a Bella Danger, you know, was probably angry at Marcus Dupree. I don't know. <clears throat> she probably was angry at him and then they talked and came to an understanding. And she said she was looking at the director or something like, she was just sad or something. Um, I don't know what that's all about, but like I said, I just think it's a messed up situation. If Augustine was alive, I personally believe that they would have made peace and came to an understanding. Um, some people are going to take Augustine's side because she's a woman and because she's dead. Don't just look at it from like Augustine's perspective. You have to look at it from Marcus Dupree's perspective. Emma his perspective for why she made a feel with them and a Bella Danger perspective. It was consensual. It was a miscommunication. And she said herself that she likes rough sex. She just wasn't comfortable with having rough sex with Margaret Supreme for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it was being too rough with her. And if that was the case, I, she should have said something. Because how would Margaret Supreme know that he was being too rough with her. Maybe he thought that she was liking it. Um, she didn't say stop. She didn't say, I don't want to have sex with you. She just bailed him and left. And, and 
I guess, accused him of being rapist when she was talking to Emma Hiss. Yeah, guys, I know this situation happened a long time ago, but when it comes to rape, it doesn't matter how long ago it was. At the end of the day, it's a trim. For I know that for people who've been raped, it's a traumatic experience. It don't matter how long ago it was, it's still bad. And it's traumatic. Um, like with the Jack Wright thing, where he was sexually assaulted by Sienna May, that's a messed up situation. You know, um, where she sexually assaulted him while he was unconscious, sitting, on his, sitting in the chair or something. I watched that video, I was like, dang, that's messed up. So yeah, doesn't matter how long ago it was, happened. A lot of people may criticize me, but you know what? I don't care what people think because if you don't agree with me, we could just be respectful, come to a disagreement, but we don't have to disrespect each other.